Hello and welcome back to Onimusha. I'm here with my friend Reggie and uh, my other friend Zab. Hello. Interruption. Totally. So, now we have to get through this thing. Watch this, the crystal fitted in the center and there seems to be a thunder inside the crystal. I don't know, it just orb. seems to be pulsating. It's pulsating blue, so use the blue orb on it. Now we can get through. Oh my, already tougher enemies. Well, Wait, you can block from any angle and not give a fuck? Pretty much. That's hilarious. Now if I was smart about this, I would not get hit. Because, what, they telegraph attacks too easily? Pretty much. Be a box. Yeah, and this, the box has the map. Oh, that was cheap. <laughs> as soon as it got into existence. There we go. Was that it? Nah, uh, this is the way we came, but I'm just taking it down so I don't have to deal with it when I when or if I have to run back here again. I like how doors don't open. <laughs> Do you see that big thing over there? Yeah, you should go give it a hug. I'm gonna give it more than a hug. Rusty beating people up to have gigantism again. Oh no, he struck it down. <laughs> So what are these weird hunchback hobbit things you're killing? Uh, they are demons of some sort. I don't know their names. Got it, it's ugly, kill it. Pretty much. It's dangerous, it's ugly, and it's trying to kill you. Like that guy. <laughs> The camera angles were like, I'm in a movie. Pretty much. A very horribly scripted movie. You can tell they're rubber. There's a way to do a, uh, a quick slash, and it's hard to pull off. Are you lock on automatically to them? That's not what I wanted you to do.
you can technically lock on automatically to them. Hey, you're not supposed to jump at me. But it did. But it did. What's that door? The door's closed tightly oh. and will not open. I guess you go through the red gate then. I can't go through the red gate since I have nothing to open the red gate. What? But you got the blue ball. I got the blue ball, but I don't got the red ball. You should take his thing, that's shiny. Trying to. Yeah, I know. Shiny. There we go. You got Herb. A giant monster took Princess Yuki and went down under the dry moat. You can see a dry moat. Did the monster come from the bottom of the moat? You need equipment to descend. Oh boy, what a way to like, you know. What? Break, break total, total fluidality. What's that red box? This red box? Yeah. Wow. It's a power jewel. And this jewel does even better stuff than the purple one. The blue one, you mean? It gives me more health. Does it matter? Purple and blue are almost the same. Meh. And I got medicine. What, like a, a jar of like... Have you ever had... Okay, you know how there's like Twizzlers and uh, Red Vines and stuff? Okay. Alright, now... There's this other one that's just... Uh... Hmm... <laughs> It's just this red string, and it's like, I think it's used in, uh, just some red chewy string, almost, and it used for, like, cooking or something. Right. Bottom line, it's fucking tasty. Alright. And, like, that stuff on the left side, that's that. Hey, Reggie, do you know, do you remember this guy? Yes, tusks. Humans are more tasty when angry, and I haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> is he the boss? He is a boss, yep. Yeah. He looks like the amazing bulk. Hey, a chest. Yeah, I can't get that right now, though. Goodies! Your magic is, like, critically low, isn't it? It is, that's why I'm not using it right now. Come on, game.
Ah. Oh. Come on, get up. I gotta use my medicine now. He's gonna beat more and more demon souls out of him until he's just like nothing. More or less. Oh, he go red. Yeah, he go red. So you gotta run. This look uber jank. It does look uber jank. Well enough made boss fight. There we go. How could I die? By the hand of a human. Be quiet, monster. It is time for you to go back to the underworld. Ah, uh, yummy souls. Box. Yep, I'm getting there. <clears throat> the journal too. You wanna eat this? Yeah. I am big sad. Pathetic coward me is. Weak unworthy peasant me are. My master seriously injured during the battle against the demons. I could not do anything. I could not save myself. He asked me to bring his wounded body to the entrance of the cave. Then he began to perform his final ceremony. Down. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'll go back up. So, so where were you at? <laughs> no, I <laughs> go down. That's all you get for that, that, that like, end of the perform his final ceremony. <laughs> all that line is just me, eh, done. With his remaining powers, he set up... What the fuck? What? Ah. Uh, he is trying to sacrifice himself and set up the barriers at the entrance of the cave so that the demons cannot get out. My master gave me a document and a jewel. <gasps> That's good smoking. And yeah. then ordered me to leave the cave that was the most embarrassing moment of my life good i felt relieved to know that blah 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 hid his runes document the jewel that was tasty and i came back to my master's place of sacrifice well sorry i for whatever reason i thought you were still higher up on the thing no nope. <laughs> i will never have willpower like that of my master. All I can do is learn how much a testament of my findings. Samu. Wow, what a big nerd. I know, eh? Break all those pots. They don't deserve it. Resurrected that pitiful Nobunaga after he was killed in Okihazama. 
He then made a pact with the demons and pledged his eternal loyalty to serve us forever as our slave. No! Oh, yes, it is indeed true. Now, let me show you my most recent creation. <laughs> Go, Renato! Fight the belly of that maggot and feast upon his bloody flesh! <laughs> So is that just a tongue? It's something weird. Wait, now there's two? Yep. Oh, there's another one. These things split in half. Like two or three times? They can split in half. If Like if you hit the new one, they will split in half almost constantly. Oh god. Oh, this is your... This is my fire. It's a broadsword. Fire burn good. Use. It certainly has the noises of it. it has weight behind it. Oh, whoosh, it does. Whoosh. It feels like it has weight on it, too. Test subject. I was trying to do that a uh, quick attack again, but it didn't do it for me. Mm. Oh, now, wait. What? What are those? These things are pains in the ass. God, I hope you didn't get a bow in this game. How awful would it be? You can actually get a bow in this game, I believe. I don't like that. <laughs> And this is what Whoa. you Yeah, that's what you need the thing for. There we go, just so I know that I've been here. Enhance. Awesome. Do a quick save. Oh, shit. Moat. So I'm trying to uh, make sure I'm at the right thing here. Okay, I think I'm all caught up so far. Want to see what this thing can do? Boom!
Now get your book back, yeah? That's mine. Ah, you... Why did it keep going to that one? It swung twice at the one I was aiming for, then turned around and swung at the wrong one. Which made me lose my souls. Turn around. There we go. This game does not like listening to commands all the time. Come on. There we go. It tried strangling me. I got the keep map. A strange man is silently staring at you. I see it. What the fuck? <laughs> Who is he? Uh, he's someone that is not a demon, but works with demons in a sense. So he's got all the papers on him for like seals to ward him off. Uh, sort of. Did I save? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you saved? <laughs> What is going on here? Stop! Who are you? And what do you want with that boy? I should ask you the same thing. You are not working for Saito Clan, are you? Wait. Can you be Samanosuke Akechi? Yes, you are. I cannot believe you are here of all places. I am a servant of the Oda clan. My name is Tokichiro Ginoshita. This man will eventually conquer the world under the name Hideyoshi Toyotomi. What is a servant of the Oda clan doing here? Wait, first we must talk business. Tell me, Samanusuke, are you interested in serving our clan? My lord Nomenaga Oda would welcome a great samurai like yourself. I serve no one. My life is mine and mine alone to command. <laughs> I see. However, I will not give up yet. We shall meet again. <laughs> what was so important about that little factor? I have no idea. No more <laughs> arrows. Normal arrow, a singular arrow. I'm starting to see the flaws with the emulator. Oh yeah, it, it, it's apparent. 
I'm starving. I wonder how many days have passed since I entered this cave. My only More source. Than seven. <laughs> if you're fucking starving, more more than seven or three or something, the magic number be. I believe it's three when you start feeling your like starving hunger, but I believe you can go like a week or two at most without food. Yeah, it's something crazy strange, but it's like as long as you have water, it's like you can't go without water you for very long. You can't go no more than three days without water because you will like die pretty pretty horribly because well lack of water yeah. but i water. believe you can go if you have plenty of water i believe you can go for about two weeks without food <clears throat> oh speaking about water and shit here's a crappy pickup line it's like ah uh you like water oh yeah we're like made of 70 percent, so we must have that in common with each other or some shit like that <laughs> <laughs> wow what yeah, a it's like some line, eh? science pickup line about being made of like such such amount of water, and it's like, oh, we have that in common. We should go out. One, <laughs> <laughs> the day I hear that is the day I go, holy fuck, pigs are flying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, my only source of sustenance has been some water leaking out of the wall. I followed the smell of blood and came here. Normally, I would not have been able to smell it, but my hunger seems to have sharpened my senses. That is why I am now watching something I could not have imagined even in my worst nightmares. Ah, uh, what a sight. Demons are eating human prisoners alive. They pay no attention to their victims' screams. They just crunch the bones and chew, them, chew up the flesh. I am standing still, just watching the scene, so as, to, so as not to be spotted by the demons. No, that's not exactly what I have in mind. I'm watching a person's finger lying on the ground. When a person dies, its body becomes only meat. Ah, I am afraid of what I am thinking about. I am like a wild scavenger that waits expect it expectantly for the scraps of food that tigers leave behind. What an evil desire I'm having. Same you. Is he gonna become a Wendigo? Seems like it, eh? The armor doesn't help to block the attack. Oh. Basically, the armor is no good. Even your armor is no good? No, my armor is special armor. It's plot armor. <laughs> it's plot armor. <laughs> Come on, one of you hit me so I can spin around. There we go. I like their green night vision eyes. Yeah, so do I. And by the oh, way, they that... seem kind of broken. <laughs> Just a little bit, eh? I'll just go and attack him. I know, I was just waiting for him to hit me so I could turn to face him. Because the, um, the, uh, uh the combat in this game, you, b you basically have to be directly looking at them to hit them. Uh -oh. And the game doesn't always like to face you when you're trying to attack. I need the other half of the blue lungs. What is this? This is a weird pit. You have to find a way to unlock it. But yeah, you basically have to find the right side of whatever that is. Samanosuke, is there something you wanted to ask this young man? Do not be afraid. No! You want to hurt me like that other samurai did! That is not true. Please, tell me your name. I... I am Yumamaru. Yumamaru, you must tell me. What did that samurai want with you? Um... Why should I know? Fine, then why are you here? Who brought you here? Go after him while I look for Princess Yuki. I will.
She's a cool wow. That person seems to be like the most unimportant person ever. I know. Uh, in the uh, the second game, uh, there's actually a mirror sitting right over here. You mean like a remake? No, there's there's like three games to this. The second game, you visit this castle again, and there's a a a, 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 a mirror sitting there. Huh. So I guess they like redid the area and then simply said, you know, we're gonna put an improvement into it. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> You're still just—it's a feature. There we go. Still making coffee, Zab. What? I'm just cleaning shit. Oh. She used the dishwasher. What have I been doing? You're right. <laughs> I wish. Okay, let's see if I can solve this. There we go. I got a bow. Oh no. <laughs> I don't use a bow very often. Mighty samurai only know how to swing sword. Bow useless. Sword good. It Make must swing bow, through. Unless bow shoot sword. <laughs> <laughs> the yes. bow shoot sword. <laughs> It's like the shovel launcher in Far Cry. It's now just the bow. Sword Yeater 3000. Always gotta have improved. that thousand. Yeah, new and improved. There you go, that's what I was looking for. What's that? There's something shiny in the bottom of the pail. A power jewel. <clears throat> okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Those jewels are giving you incredible powers. Yeah. I go get something. Okay, so I'm um, up to date so far. Oh, you bitch. How did you do that to me? swords for everything. Yeah, the only reason I equip this sword is because uh, otherwise you can't get through here. It goes by uh, what you what you've equipped. I got the red book. I remember that there were other animals that choose a similar fate to Nobunaga. When I remember something, I should write it down, because my brain has too many things to think about. It shouldn't be wasted on such trivial matters. My number of, my number one priority must be producing things for a demon species. Not remembering things. 
I will write down here and forget about the information. The animal is called Gen Genghis. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it sounds like dementia. Yeah, pretty much, eh? Uh, the animal is called uh, Genghis Alexand. Uh, never mind. The name of animals do not have any meaning for us. These animals fought extensive battles and managed to continue fighting to expand their territories. They are considered extremely heroic and exceptional warriors. But in truth, they offer large numbers of sacrifices to us to obtain our technology and weapons. Wise animals can be destined to conquer the world by making a contract with the demons, while the stupid ones simply get sacrificed. I should say demons flourish in the zoo. Uh, what the hell's that? It's a crest piece. How about that armor? This is a ceremonial armor, but it doesn't look useful. Oh, what crap. Looks Was like it this made of plastic. Uh it's probably like like not plastic, but like not real metal armor. It's like made of the <coughs> fake shit. Yeah, it's, the, it's the probably made copper. of mostly, Yeah, mostly like leather and copper and shit like that, I believe. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Boo! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, nope, not today. Oh man. Not today, Satan, not today. More red samurai. I can't it tell what it is. blinked. That thing just blinked. It does blink. It's technically alive. Oh. Come on. There we go. But yeah, your gauntlet is technically alive. I don't like that. It's like the hive hand from Half-Life. It's alive! Bo? Bo? No! Come on. I hate that, that it's like very fucked over here. No, aim fucking downwards. Are you serious game? Come on. Work with me here. Oh, really game? Nope. There is no work with or here. Yeah, the game was basically like, you want to save them? Well, too bad. If you save them, one of them gives you a power drill. I think so, anyways. Or herbs and medicine or something like that. But because Doesn't of... Doesn't matter. Yeah, but because this is so fucking janky. That animation is cool, though. Yeah. Welcome to the Jank Lords. You ever so, wanted to play Brazilian Jank? So it get, uh, if you were to save them, you'd get an urban and magic jewel. Urban magic jewel. Magic. Yeah. But because the game's so goddamn janky with its hitboxes and whatnot, I could not get a <laughs> single hit on it. It wasn't just jank with the hitbox, it wasn't even like 
going towards where you wanted it to. I know, like it was aiming at the enemy, but then when I shot it, it would like hit too far up or too far like the way that I don't want it to. Bugger. So, oh well, I, I, uh... Is that a gun? What? There's a gun back there. Yeah, you can't use it though. I got more normal arrows. Just to, like, replenish whatever the fuck you wasted. I wasted ten arrows trying to do that and only killed one thing. I feel yep. like those aren't even books, but they're key cards. Pretty much. the way much. they look. They more or less are. Hey, save point. Yep. Yeah, if you have your uh, weapon stowed away and you're using a different one, you can actually, uh, your other weapon will actually gain, uh, charge magic. Oh, nice. What? Four years ago, his parents were killed at war. Princess Yuki found him crying alone and brought him to the castle. I see. And I also heard that Princess Yuki raised him as if he were her own brother. So he stole his way into the castle. So is she not going to be useless now? Uh, she's not going to be useless at the moment. But, unfortunately, I have to call it an episode here. So, thank you all for watching, and see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello. -bye.